Survivors of Sierra Leone's fire explosion are still responding to treatment. Majority of the patients are admitted at hospitals, but this survivor was too late to be admitted. He was then rushed to a private nurse who has helped him in curing the bonds. I thank God for my condition. It's gradually improving. I lost many of my friends at the car wash, but I pray that God grants me a speedy recovery. This is the 34 military hospital in Freetown, Sierra Leone. Behind me you can see a special unit, which is a bonds unit, where patients are being admitted and treated. Many of these individuals suffered from the tragic incident of November 5th. Aminata Kamara's husband is among the patients responding to treatment at the 34 military hospital in Freetown. He was off from business on Friday night and they called me that he had been involved in an accident. So I had to rush there the following day and met him in a critical condition. Captain Alimami David Fona is the wardmaster in charge at the 34 military hospital bonds unit. We are collaboratively, um, collaboratively working with um, all the departments in the hospital, like the physiotherapy department, the theater department, because getting their veins is so, so difficult, except we have to get the anesthetist to help us on, in, in doing that. Then we also have the social workers who counsel them, talk to them, talk to their relatives as well. Then we have hygienists to see that um, the environment is clean. Lives and properties were lost in the incident. Many are calling for aid to rebuild their livelihood. Marito Ray was a businesswoman in the locality. My children and I were able to come out of the incident. For this, we thank God. It wasn't easy with the disaster. This is where I usually do my business, and it is where I depend for survival. I am not feeling well. As I speak, we haven't received help from anyone yet. Family members remain hopeful that their loved ones will recover and get back to normal life.